Okay, so I'm wanting to do a new range of beer videos. Now that I've run out of tops to use, there's just the kegs, and um, they're not that often. Uh, one thing I do do is I run a, a beer subscription company with all different local cans. So I think maybe it's a good opportunity to review some of the cans that are in the boxes. Um, so I've just pulled up this month's box, we're in June. Uh, and I'm just going to reel some of these off and uh, if you'd like to watch videos of these uh, we do nine different cans a month so I can get 108 reviews a year out so one every three days roughly uh, plus we'll mix in a couple of these beer reviews so every two or three days we can probably get one of these reviews out uh, the first beer in this month's box is from Vocation so they're all within um, 25 miles of Bingley uh, vocations over in Hebden Bridge, so not too far away. It's called Toasted S'mores. It's a chocolate marshmallow biscuit imperial stout and it comes in 10.3%. Hopefully you can see that and it's not too blurry. My uh, camera's on fixed on a fixed lens. The uh, next beer is from Ridgeside, so these guys are based over in Meanwood in Leeds. Uh, it's called First Principles. It's a 9% barley wine. So this is just uh, our monthly box, we just do nine bi different beers, all varying in different styles. Uh, this one's a little bit soft, it's from North Brew. Um, they always have good can art on them from a uh, refold over in Leeds. Uh, it's called Telstar, it's 3.4% and it's a pale ale. And it's, it's really light in colour this one. Then we've got another one from Ridgeside, uh, and this is new as of last month, it's been out about three weeks I think. It's called Sawbuck, it is to celebrate their 10th birthday, it's a West Coast IPA, and it comes in at uh, 5.5%. Then we have um, the newest addition to the box, is Roosters Brewing Co, so they're over in Harrogate. It's a little bit further away, so when we started this subscription service uh, a year ago, we were looking at about 20 mile radius of Bingley. Uh, we've expend, expanded that to 25 miles just because there's a lot of breweries either not canning or shutting down. Uh, so this is Roosters Brewing Co. This must be the place, and it's a, a cold IPA, uh, which is a fairly new style where uh, a Pilsner Lager style meets an IPA uh, so it's like a hybrid of them two <laughs> we then have Saltair Brewery um, five minute drive from Bingley um, bringing out lots of great cans at the moment uh, traditionally they're known for real ale uh, and, and bottled beers um, but they've uh, partnered with a local artist called Ellie Way uh, who's designing the can art for him uh, and this one's called Rattlesnake Ridge we've done two others previously to this that they brought out in cans and uh, Ellie did the artwork for one of them and there's a can that has just been released uh, which we're looking at getting as well for a future month box also done by Ellie so this one is 6.5% it's a West Coast IPA We then have uh, Magic Rock, so these are based over in Homefirth in Huddersfield. So again, 15 miles away from here. Um, they used to be independent, then they went massive when they got bought out by Little Lion Company. Uh, and now they're independent again. So this is one of the first beers we've had since they turned independent. It's uh, another hazy IPA, 6.2%. Uh, so a lot of these are IPAs, hazies, West Coasts. That's the, the beer machine because I've just done a review on that. And then we've got a, a patron's project from Northern Monk. So again, some more great artwork. Uh, patron's projects, uh, for anyone that's not heard of them, are projects that Northern Monk work with with other people. So local artists, charities, uh, other breweries. So they're, they're working with Risotto Studio. It's called Shapeshifter. And they've partnered with Oddity Brewing. Uh, I think is uh, Barcelona, um, but don't quote me on that, I'm mainly focused on 
on local brews, so Northern Monk over in Leeds. Uh, and this is a pale ale at 5% um, and it's, it's a pale label, so when we come to this review we'll peel it off, it'll give us a lot more information on, on the two other people that partnered with. And also in this month's box, um, oh, well, there's, there's a beer inside this glass, so we use uh, card, double wall card boxes to make sure everything's safe. Everything is uh, stuff packed with this brown jammy wrap. Uh, if there's a glass or a smaller can, so you've got eight big cans, normally do a small can or a small bottle, 330ml. So we've got the, this month you get this glass. So obviously we've got the, the Vocation logo on here, the Vocation beer here. And it says Vocation Brewery on it, so this glass comes with June box. So obviously when we review the, the Vocation it be here, it'll be in it'll be in this box. And then inside that glass is another beer from Saltaire, uh, one that I've had for quite a while around. It's called Full Tilt. Uh, it's a 5.2% pale again. So there is quite a few pales, like the majority of the box, I'd say 5 out of 9 are pale. Um, sometimes there's a sour, I've only had two of them in the last 13 boxes. Um, sometimes there's a stout, I've had probably five of them in the last 13 boxes, but the majority were safe for, for the majority of people who like IPAs and craft beers. Barley wine is the first barley wine that we've had in this camp, uh, in this box. Um, so excited to have a go, <coughs> excited to have a go on that barley wine and see what it's like. So I've never had barley wine out of a can either. Um, the brewery, uh, the subscription box, we are Bingley Brew Club. Uh, we work with lots of different breweries every month. Um, there's a list of them on here. Uh, we've been sending boxes to Real Ale Craft Beer, um, so he's been doing reviews last year and earlier this year, and hopefully he'll carry on this year, but for now, I uh, just wanted to review a small selection, so like I said, once every two or three days, I'll pop a video up. Um, yeah, if you want to check out the website, it's bingleybrewclub.co.uk. All the boxes always come with two beer mats every other month. It'll have a, a snack in. If it doesn't have a snack in, it's got a glass in, it'll have uh, a koozie in, it'll have a, a bar towel in. Um, so July box will have crisps in. And then August box, we're looking at getting some beer towels, August, September time. So uh, I'll pop that back in there. So yeah, stay around, subscribe to YouTube channel. Um, Put your name down on the mailing list if you're interested. We always send offers out. And um, yeah, see you in the next one.